all right welcome back guys now in this one we are going to add um the functionality to go to the next song or the previous song okay so um i think the first thing i'll do is let me first add an event listener and i will just so just to remind you so we have the next and the previous uh variables so i'll come here to our event listener section and i'll just duplicate this downwards twice this first one is going to be next and it's going to call a function that will be next song so next song and this one is going to call a function that will be prev song and of course it's going to be previous dot add event listener okay so those are the two um, event listeners we're going to need okay so now let's go down and create the function for these guys okay so i'll come here right and i'll see um let me say next song so i'll see function so next song light um so what am i going to do in um in this function here well we're going to use an if statement right so let's create an if statement and we want to go to the next song if a particular condition is met what is that condition well if the index track which is like the track currently playing is less than track list right track li sorry track list which represents this track list here which contains a list of tracks so track list dot length okay okay so if the index track is less than track list dot length minus one now why am i adding minus one now the index track starts from zero so it's an index we made it zero based so it starts from zero however the track list contains four tracks so um by removing one from the track list we are ensuring that it will tally with the index that we're talking about okay so now what do we want to do well we want to increase the index track by one so i will just say index track okay and i'll see plus plus and close okay so now that we've increased the index track in other words we've gone to the next track i will then go ahead and call this function to load track so this guy here that loads track i'll call it to load the track i'll paste it in okay then i'll then play the song so where's the play song function so we'll call this function to play the song and it's gonna play the song okay so the else statement the else block right simply means that okay what if the index track right doesn't meet this condition we put here so the condition here is if the index track is less than uh what's it called <clears throat> track list dot length so what if we're on the last track the index track in other words the last tr very last track on the track list is what is playing what happens well this index track we're going to set it back to zero so i'll come here paste that in and say index track is equal to zero okay and then i'll basically just load the track and play the song so i'll paste that in right and let's save and let's test it out okay so we are on let's click on play and i think we just did something wrong so let's check our console let's inspect Control shift i previous song is not defined oh we call the function with okay so it's not like it's not like a mistake per se because we just called the function we've not defined yet so it stops the code so let's try it out now so i'll click on play 
and let's try the next button and you see it works so it takes us to the very next song okay so basically what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the same thing for the previous function okay so i can come here and uncomment out this guy and permit me to actually just duplicate this function and i'm going to call this previous song so let's call this previous song and let's just space it out a little so for the previous song what are we interested in we want to be able to go back if the index track is greater than zero okay in other words if we are in maybe the second third fourth or higher number we want to have the opportunity to go back so this um index track we're going to do index track minus minus another so well in other words we're going to reduce it by one and then we're going to load track and play the song else we are going to set the index track to be equal to so here we're going to set it to be equal to track list dot length minus one okay and then we'll load the track and play the song so let's save that and test it okay so this was a pretty quick one so i'll start uh do, 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 do. okay i've done something wrong again oh i did not even change the name to previous song okay so prev song i'm sure you saw that when i was making that mistake but there was no way you could tell me zeno zeno anyway let's continue so i'll, I'll play the song now and it works and both of them work so let me so you see i've gone through the song once so let me go back all right so at this point i can see that our um buttons work both the play post button the next and the previous button they all work okay so um in the next video we're going to add more functionalities to the um project okay all right thank you and see you there